Litmus is a water-soluble mixture of different dyes extracted from lichens. It is often absorbed onto filter paper to produce one of the oldest forms of pH indicator, used to test materials for acidity. History Litmus was used for the first time about 1300 AD by Spanish physician Arnoldus de Villanova. From the 16th century on, the blue dye was extracted from some lichens, especially in the Netherlands. <laughs> Natural sources Litmus can be found in different species of lichens. The dyes are extracted from such species as Rochella tinctoria, South America, Rochella fusiformis, Angola and Madagascar, Rochella pygmaea, Algeria, Rochella phycopsis, Lecanora tartaria, Norway, Sweden, Variolaria dilbata, Ocrolochia perella, Palmotrema tinctorum, and Palmelia. Currently, the main sources are Rochella montane, Mozambique, and Dendrographa leucophia, California. Uses The main use of litmus is to test whether a solution is acidic or basic. Blue litmus paper turns red under acidic conditions and red litmus paper turns blue under basic or alkaline conditions, with the color change occurring over the phone range 4.5 to 8.3 at 25 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. Neutral litmus paper is purple. Litmus can also be prepared as an aqueous solution that functions similarly. Under acidic conditions, the solution is red, and under alkaline conditions, the solution is blue. Wet litmus paper can also be used to test for water-soluble gases that affect acidity or alkalinity. The gas dissolves in the water and the resulting solution colors the litmus paper. For instance, ammonia gas, which is alkaline, turn the red litmus paper blue. Chemical reactions other than acid base can also cause a color change to litmus paper. For instance, chlorine gas turns blue litmus paper white, the litmus dye is bleached, because of presence of hypochlorite ions. This reaction is irreversible, so the litmus is not acting as an indicator in this situation. Chemistry. The litmus mixture has the CA's number 1393-92-6 and contains 10 to 15 different dyes. All of the chemical components of litmus are likely to be the same as those of the related mixture known as orsine, but in different proportions. In contrast with orsine, the principal constituent of litmus has an average molecular mass of 3300. Acid base indicators on litmus owe their properties to a 7 hydroxyphenoxazone chromophore. Some fractions of litmus were given specific names, including erythrolitmin or erythrolin, azolitmin, spanulitmin, leucoorsine, and leucozolitmin. Azolitmin shows nearly the same effect as litmus. Topic <laughs> mechanism. <laughs> Red litmus contains a weak diprotic acid. When it is exposed to a basic compound, the hydrogen ions react with the added base. The conjugate base, formed from the litmus acid, has a blue color, so the wet red litmus paper turns blue in alkaline solution. <laughs> <laughs> 